Well, take the wine in, little booger. Stop it or dinner will be late. <sighs> and now I'll play my king. How's that? Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Mr. Rollins. Good Johnny, evening. show him in. Give him the menu, huh? No, that's OK, Johnny. I can go see for myself what's cooking. Thanks. Carry on, sir. Make yourself at home. Thank you. Good evening. Oh, good evening, Mr. Rolando. I'm preparing the minestrone for tomorrow. The other day, it was delicious. I think it's my favorite soup, this minestrone of yours. Uh, oh, well, you mustn't keep paying me compliments like this. But I really mean it. There's nobody in here really capable of appreciating your qualities. It's quite amazing. Oh, oh, thank you, but please stop or I'll blush. Come on, Carlo, play your cards. Wait a minute, I gotta think. What's that? It smells delicious. Oh, they're just pork chops grilled in a little homemade sauce I invented. <laughs> smells wonderful. I think I'll have a portion of that right now. <laughs> Madame Amelia. Please, Mr. Rolando. Uh, well, I'd, then I'd better go and sit down and have my dinner. <laughs> sit with your husband. What shitty cards I'm getting this evening. Stop moaning and just play on. Come on. Do you mind if I join you? Of course you can. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, Jack, play your card. When you finish, lock up and don't forget to turn off the lights. And mind you, don't break any glasses. If you do, I'm going to kick your ass off. to him, and I can't understand why. Because he's never doing what he ought to be doing. You have to tell him everything. He just stands there looking like an idiot. I can't bear it. I can't bear it. Jan is young and timid. He spent five years in a seminary. No wonder he's got a complex. Yeah, yeah, I know.
Try to be a bit more understanding. Don't be so hard on the kid. Yeah. So, what shall we do, Governor? Put the cement mixers on overtime, then we'll be able to finish the shoulders by nightfall. That's good. I'll change the program for the mechanical shovels, and I'll alternate the teams behind the ditch diggers, OK? Sure, fine. Here's your coffee. Oh, thank you. Thank you. you. About that dump truck, I haven't been able to do anything yet, Governor. Thank Sorry. You. Okay. Yes, I see. We've got until tomorrow. Oh, damn! Shall I send for some water, Governor? Oh, no, no, never mind. Uh, I'll go to the tavern and change. You carry on alone. Ah, well, you took your goddamn time. Let's see what the butcher gave you. And the butcher calls these steaks? With the prices we pay, you ought to have thrown them in his face. But I... But I'm useless and fucking stupid, you ought to say, idiot. In the meantime, you clean the crapper and light the fire and peel the potatoes, got it? Ah, you're here. When I call, you answer. I w went to the bathroom, Uncle. I didn't hear you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Rolando. Finished already? No, I just have to change my coat. Huh. Perfectly all right. Stay there if you wish. I just came back to change my jacket. No, I'm sorry. I'll leave you to it.
She's here. She's here. So what? So what? She's here. I got the message. Why are you making such a fuss over her? Good morning, Cousin Carlo. But you can't be. You were this high the last time I saw you. I've grown up. I'm a big girl now. I can see that. Poor Cousin Umberto. A tremendous disaster. He was so young, too. I hope you'll be happy here. Welcome, Marilena. Mm -hmm. Ah, this is our nephew, Johnny. Hi. Are you perfectly certain you can't make the trip? You can't expect me to leave everything in the hands of a couple of kids. We have important clients to look after. Now, don't you worry about me. You need at least a couple of days complete rest. So you'll make your father happy, poor old guy. Mmm, bum worth a million dollars. Tell me, Jenny, have you got a girlfriend? No. Oh, come on. A boy as good looking as you? I reckon you got all the girls lining up. You've been quiet about it, huh? I was going to be a priest, and I haven't got a girl. But now you're not going to be a priest anymore. Why don't you give me a little smile, or don't you like me, huh? Uh, Johnny, run along to the butcher's and see if he's got those beefsteaks. And go by Mrs. Yoles and get the beans. Fetch them. <laughs> he's just a nice guy, you know. A bit weird. Mm hmm I don't mean to say that he's, uh, he's uh -huh. just terribly timid, you know, shy. Some people are spontaneous. They think things and act them out. And then there are the timid ones. I'm not like that. Marilena. What are you doing, Cousin Carlo? Are you crazy? What are you doing? Go see if they want some wine in there. <laughs> There's just one table of carpet. Ah. Do you want some grappa? For me. Yeah, come on. Have a drink. But, Uncle, you know I don't drink. Come on. It's good for you. <laughs> drink up. <laughs> I made it myself. It's good for you. Sooner or later, you'll have to start drinking. Otherwise, what kind of a man will you be? Drink it down to your... <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> you ought to see yourself. Your face. You're funny. Come on. 
How about another little slug? Cheers. Break it down. Possess you to drink that awful grappa. You're not used to it. <coughs> now, go and have a good sleep, and tomorrow you'll be as good as new. Okay, I'll try. <coughs> <coughs> I got drunk, I must have been 13 or 14. A woman was the cause of it, naturally. A creature with the niftiest knockers. <laughs> They'd have revived a corpse. Yeah, I was crazy about her. Then one day, out in the fields, I spied her behind a hedge with a farmhand. I felt betrayed, just as if I'd been her husband. Mm. I was so fucking mad, I got a hold of my father's bottle and I drank the lot. Since then, I've been drunk more times than you've had hot dinners. Oh, well. Good night, Cousin Carlo. Madam Amelia, hello. Oh, good afternoon, Mr. Rolando. No, no, wait, wait, let me help you. Oh, yes, thank you. Don't tell me that Carlo asked you to meet me. No, he has absolutely no idea I'm here. I've been waiting for this moment for some time now. Oh, really? Picking me up at the station? No, we're spending some time alone with you. Oh, excuse me a moment. Please, hey, there you are. Thank you. The truth is that uh, Fulgencio was supposed to pick you up on his motorbike. What happened to him? I sent him back. I wanted to, um, uh, uh, do you mind? No, not at all. Good. The trip is much more comfortable in a car. <laughs> and besides, like this, we won't get covered in dust. That's true. Where are you going? This isn't the right way. I know, forgive me, but it won't take a moment, I assure you. I want to show you a rather lovely spot. You wait. Here we are. I'll open the gate. Do you like it? Look, that's where the highway we're building would pass, and that area over there will be flattened completely. Oh, what a pity. It's such a lovely place. It reminds me of the park in my hometown. 
Do you still feel homesick? No, I couldn't live in a city now. The crowds of confusion scare me to death. I prefer a quiet life in a village. Mm. Well, I come from a small village in Piedmont. I recall my mother telling me, uh, I was just a kid at the time, that to get into the... to get into the city, you had to fight the old woman guarding the city <laughs> gates. <laughs> what an idea! <sighs> Whatever brought you to this place? Oh, I wasn't even 20 years old. I just got my teacher's diploma. When they sent me here to teach, I got so fond of those kids, I suppose it's silly, but I couldn't leave the village. But why did you leave the school? I, I mean, why did you stop teaching? Oh, well, I met Carlo. When I was young, and I was very timid. And he's such an outgoing character, so sure of himself. He fascinated me. One day, he had a row with the headmaster of the school, who terrified me just by looking at me. We married a few months later. I've been dreaming of this moment since you left. Amelia, you're lovely. No. No, please, Mr. Roland. Would you rather we leave? Yes, please. Let's go. What shall I do? Keep Mr. Rolando's minestrone hot? Do as you please. I don't give a fuck. Do you expect me to worry about Mr. Rolando, too? I just asked to know what to do. You always want to keep him happy. Yeah, keep it warm for him. Excuse me. I've just got a headache over these figures. S drinking if you have a headache. Mm. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Ah, here I am. Hi. Hi, Amelia. You've given us quite a surprise arriving so late. We'd given you up for today. <laughs> I was at the station and saw Madame Amelia, so I offered her a lift home. Well, I'm rather tired. I think I'll go to bed. Thank you for the lift, Mr. Rolando. It was a pleasure, Madame Amelia. Sleep well. <laughs> Well, I'm as hungry as a wolf. Can I have dinner right away? Of course, Mr. Orlando. Marilena, serve Mr. Orlando right away. <clears throat> it was very kind of you offering my wife a lift. I was getting a bit worried. It's so dangerous for a woman to travel alone these days. You shouldn't have bothered. It was no bother at all. See you later. Johnny, I'm sorry, but you shouldn't have. Come on, please don't cry. Come on. 
<laughs> Dry your eyes, okay? Mm. One day you'll meet a really nice girl and you'll really fall in love, understand? Mm. That's enough now. Mm. Grown men don't cry. <sighs> Come on, play your card. Wait a minute, I've got to think. Mm. Did you enjoy your dinner this evening, Mr. Orlando? Of course. Say, are you going to play that card? You know, Mr. Orlando, you get a lovely car. Do you really like it? Mm. Very much. Why don't you take me for a ride? Look, there's no point going on with this game. Your mind just isn't on it. I'm just crazy about old cars, and speed makes me go all funny, intoxicated. I'd ride around all day <laughs> in cars if I could. <laughs> <laughs> What did Mr. Orlando want? Did he find something wrong with dinner this evening? No, nothing. He invited me to go for a ride. But I told him I didn't know whether I could. I'd have to ask permission. Well, why can't you go with him? You're at liberty to do as you please. Isn't that right, Amelia? Yes, of course. This is what I keep for my friends. May I? It's on the house. I make it myself. To yours. Your health. I hear you invited Marilena to go for a ride. Well, yes. Hmm. The girl didn't refuse it once because she didn't want to be rude. You see, sir, she didn't want to offend you. And besides, sir, you know girls can get silly ideas. They fool themselves. It's better to let the whole thing drop. You're an important person. See what I mean? Yes, naturally. I never imagined anything like that. But if that's the way things are, don't worry. Thank you. I'll find an excuse to, uh, to drop the whole thing. Well, sir, I really must say I'm very grateful. Besides, if we don't give each other a hand, to yours. <laughs> mm. Good night. Amelia, I must talk to you at once. No, please, this is madness. If we were seen together. In the barn, tomorrow afternoon at three. Huh? No, never. I'll be waiting.
It isn't true. It isn't true. Out with it. Confess, you filthy bastard. It can't be true. It can't it's true. be true. I saw them with my own eyes, like a couple of dogs. You insist, you filthy bastard. I'm going to break every bone in no, your body. I'm going to kill you. Leave him alone. Stop. Have you gone crazy? It isn't his fault if you're a cuckold. Let him be. It's all over. Oh. Malena. Yes, right away. Stupid little booger. I nearly fell for it. A blind man can see he's in love with his aunt. You belong to me alone. Oh, I'm a human being. I think and feel I'm a woman. What does that have to do with anything? Today, for the first time in my life, I know what it means to feel like a real woman. No. How can you say something like that? And he's taught me how a woman feels at last. And I love him. I love him. Dirty bitch. Dirty bitch. Dirty bitch. Amelia, come on. Thank you. What a relief. Hop in. You're the most beautiful bride I've ever seen. I'm very fortunate. 
to my young and beautiful bride. Ah, ah you're, you're so beautiful that they all envy me. Ah. Malena. Bring me a glass of cold water to my room, please. Be quick. Yes, right away. Yes, I'm a very fortunate feller. I've got a beautiful young wife. Ah, uh -huh. mm. uh, uh, yes. Mm. Oh. Beautiful and faithful. 